Hey everybody, it is now Sunday night, 28 degrees outside, it's cold. It's cold inside because it was 60 degrees outside this morning when I left to go to work. And now it's 28. Uh, it was 72 in here, and it, well it was down to 47 you can see. Uh, looks like it's going to be sunny-ish the next 12 to 24 hours. and. Doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. It's going to be pretty good for solar, actually, for the next, uh, the next couple days. So, it's nighttime. Nothing coming in. Battery's 12.7. Uh, slight load on them. But, I don't know, I guess things are, things are pretty good. There must have been some sunshine today. I don't really see any sunlight where I'm at. I'm working indoors in a big factory. So today was officially the end of gun season for deer hunting here in Ohio. Uh, there's the shotgun. I actually borrowed this shotgun from my dad. It's an 870 Express. I usually hunt with an 1100, a Remington 1100, uh, but my sight, uh, my rear sight, is similar to this. It's, it's not like this. There's a ramp a wedge that goes in from the back side. Uh, some where and somehow I lost it. Uh, I don't exactly know how. Uh, so I haven't used it and the O-rings inside the 1100 are bad. So anyway, I borrowed this. Uh, 12 gauge Remington Express 870. I got to go one day. <laughs> one day of gun hunting. And that was three Mondays ago, I think. I spent $42 or $43, whatever it is, for the tag and the license. And it's closed now. There is still a muzzleloader season coming. And I do believe I will do whatever I have to do to go muzzleloader hunting. That's not until January something-ish. I think it's... Actually, I don't know. I'm not going to say it because I can't remember, but it's... It's four days in January. It might start the 12th, but I'm not sure. I, I don't actually know that. But yeah, it kind of sucks. So this gun will have to be returned. And, uh... Yeah, time to get muzzleloader stuff out. Hey everybody, Aaron, Perping, Ohio. Uh, today I'm working on putting my panels on. Uh, these are the four new ones. There's four more over in those boxes. And... I think there's like five or six more down in the house. If you can tell, my voice is really screwed up. I have been gone for the past couple days, which is why I haven't been uploading videos. And I apologize for that, but it's starting to come back now. Uh, I'm not going to be able to put them all on today, because I believe I'm going to be short on these brackets. Let me put this thing down here. <clears throat> I showed this in one of my last videos. Uh, a video two ago, a week ago, whatever. But I got these from work. They were like packing things held some stuff together and there was a bunch of them they were just gonna throw them away so they said I could have them and you can see it's a nice standoff for the for the panel gets it up off the roof uh, halfway through this part of it these four I realized that I didn't paint those yet and I'm sure they're kind of rust up uh, another reason I'm not gonna be able to finish this today is I'm very short on bolts these gold ones I found down in my garage they're, they're not gold they're just some kind of coating on them uh, I have like three times the amount of this, but I let my little guy play with them. Now I can't find them, so that's awesome. Uh, so this is what, what I'm doing here. Uh, I got enough hardware, I think, to put four more panels up. And then I'll probably have to make different mounts or see if they have any more mounts left at work. Uh, or just figure out somewhere else to put them. Okay, so I got eight panels on here total. I think I have just enough hardware to do two more. And then I'll have to either acquire more mounts or uh, or make some. I'm going to remount those correctly too. I'm taking that one there on the left. This one right here is a polycrystalline. I'm taking that one out. And then all those stupid Harbor Freight panels up top, they're, they're going. I don't think they even work anymore. If they do, they don't work well. They never worked well anyway. But, uh, so, yeah, it's looking pretty neat. They're not fastened to the roof yet. 
I don't know if I showed how I was putting the bolts on here. Let me, okay, I take a bolt and I put it up through uh, the hole here and the holes in the panels on the bottom I think are just exactly this size or maybe just a touch smaller because I actually have to thread the bolt up into the panel and uh, then of course I put the nut on the top and run it down and tighten them up but if I can find two more of these stupid things I'll have enough bolts to get the two more panels on until I can get more more mounts well everybody that's as far as I can go tonight I got all 10 panels on and it's wired up in a 24 volt configuration which is this panel and this panel positive to negative and then these two are parallel with these ones so on and so on you know uh, 10 panels is kind of like five 24 volt panels here so uh, got the wire draped over the side there kind of fastened down gonna go run it in the house and if I got time before we lose the rest of our sunlight I'm gonna try to hook it up to the charge controller to see what it looks like I'm just gonna disconnect all that stuff up there tonight uh, we don't I'm not gonna use it until until I can get it slipped around there where I want it so went in pretty cool it looks pretty good too well there it is it's all hooked up now out of a thousand watts that I hooked up yesterday there's 47 watts coming in oh I also hooked up my temperature uh, sensor right there 66 degrees uh, it's hooked in and it's running and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, these wires were a huge pain in the butt to work with. They're aluminum. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I had, so it's what I used. Something I'm kind of concerned about is I don't have a lot of clearance up here. Uh, they recommend six inches, so I'll probably be taking this shelf out. And then I suppose I'm going to box this in. Some kind of... Uh, something to keep thing people from setting stuff up here and bumping into it, you know. Yeah, I had a boo-boo. <laughs> so anyway, it's going. Uh, today is Christmas Eve. Uh, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope that my voice comes back a little better so I'm able to upload more videos. Uh, yeah, anyway, I left the wires really long. They're all coiled up underneath. Uh, I don't have this fused yet or a disconnect so that's kinda kinda scary <laughs> it's something I'm gonna have to do pretty quick uh, I'll probably show that when I do that uh, anyway folks pretty happy soon I'll be able to get the the other six panels hooked in and it'll be a total of 1600 watts uh, capable I disconnected the 500 watt system and it's just hanging there. It's not it's not hooked up to anything. Uh, I will incorporate that. I kind of think I'm going to take that 100 watt polycrystalline panel and put it on the RV. So I'll, I'll show everybody when I do that. But for now, Merry Christmas and stay safe folks. Thanks for watching.